We're joined now by UNA head cross country coach Jeremy Province in his first season at the University of North Alabama, getting set for the first year of Division I cross country meets. August 31st, the women open up at Belmont. Jeremy, to this point, how's practice been going? I've been very pleased with the uh, with the effort of the teams, the energy level in practice. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, coming in from the summer, um, you know, fitness is a big key, and, and that's something that I'm looking at. But for me, the most important thing was looking at the energy um, and, and are, you know, are the guys and girls buying into what we're trying to do here and, and buying into the culture we're trying to establish. And for the most part, I've been very pleased with that. So practice has been great on that end. And then, you know, times have been continuing to get better. Um, I think our fitness level is coming around. Uh, of course, it's a long season, so you don't want to peak too early. But, um, you know, I'm very happy with, uh, with the where we're at right now fitness-wise as well. Break down the training force. It's more than just getting out here and running every morning. I know you've mixed in some weights as well, but what, what are we working on each day that they come out here and run? Well, I, I think John Gordon said it best when he when he came and spoke with us. Just being one percent better every day in practice, you know, where, and and that's in practice, but also in the classroom, in the weight room, wherever you're at, just be one percent better as a person. And and so, you know, when I'm watching them, you know, I'm I'm looking obviously that we've got a stopwatch, and that's pretty black and white. You can see where our fitness is at based on that, but. You know, looking at body language, you know, and, and, and their demeanor, you know, during the workout, after the workout, um, you know, and just, um, you know, how they're supporting their teammates. You know, there's a lot of things that we look at. Their form, you know, are, are their shoulders back? Are they relaxed when they're running? There's a lot of things you can look at and kind of tell. And so those are the things, especially early in the season, that I'm looking for and seeing how the guys and girls are responding. All right, we're down at McFarland right now, McFarland Park. It was a gorgeous morning, a cool morning. I know that's a nice break, but where else have you guys been training at around the Shoals area? Uh, so we've been uh, obviously here at McFarland for our workouts, and we're blessed with just a beautiful morning, like you said. But um, we've been over at the TVA trails, which are some nature trails just across the river. Um, you know, we've parked at, uh, we go over to the Florence High School Park there, and there's Dibert Park where we can go and run and, and through um, – and through Creekwood, a nice, uh, nice little neighborhood. So um, we've also, you know, just just campus at Flowers Hall, uh, parking at the Cross Country House, or even at campus. There's some uh, some good wild woods, got some trails and and some nice roads back that we can get on. So just a lot of good places that are close and local that we can get out and, and just get away from some traffic and and just um, you know they're safe, you know, and 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 just really get our runs and training runs in. Now, we've talked a lot with Justin Watson. We know how good of a runner he is on the men's side. Emma Knight, Kara Nix, we've spoken to them as well. On both teams, you can start with the men, then into the women. Who are some of the runners that have stood out so far in practice? Yeah, I think probably on the men's side, I've uh, been most impressed with Peyton. Um, he's a sophomore coming in, and, um, you know, he had a he had a good freshman year, um, you know, but this being his sophomore year, he's really put the work in over the summer, um, and he's really been doing, uh, he's running some really strong workouts in practice. So I've been impressed with Peyton on the men's side. Um, and then just going off that, his confidence level, you can tell, is just starting to increase. And, and so, um, you know, you put those two things together, uh, I think he's going to have a great year. On the women's side, um, you know, I think probably probably the biggest standout is both our freshmen. You know, I mean, I mean, Kara's had a you know, Kara had a solid freshman year, and, and she's running well right now. But I think Phoebe Moon and, and Tess Rickman, our two freshmen, have came in, and they're both in our top five. They both worked really hard this summer, and and um, you know, right now they're just they're learning as freshmen. They're just they're learning through each workout and and the day to day grind that it is to be in college. But I've been very impressed with their fitness and their attitudes, and and look for great things for them this season. Coach Province, thanks for chatting with us. All right, thank you.